What is an objection? A reason the prospect is saying no. An opportunity to debate and make your point. An indication that he or she has some concerns and needs more information before buying. Yes, that is correct. An objection signifies that the prospect is interested but needs more information to make a decision. Everyone who works in sales will run into sales objections. From leasing professionals to retail employees on the sales floor, people at every level of business sales need to learn how to overcome sales objections. By the end of this course, you should be able to Understand the factors that contribute to customer objections. Define different objections you may encounter in your role. Recognize different strategies to overcome objections. Identify the real objections. Find points of interest. Learn how to deflate objections and close the sale. Deflating Objections the only way to overcome sales objections is to communicate with the client. You should already know to expect sales objections. So bringing them up and discussing them with the client makes it easier for you to identify the inner workings and deflate objections. Bring up common objections first. Salespeople are familiar with certain objections. For example, those who work with higher end items should expect price objections. Rather than waiting for an objection, bringing it up first will disarm the prospect. By showing that you understand the common objections, the client will be more comfortable voicing more specific objections. Example I know that we're a little more expensive than a few of our competitors, but please allow me to explain the quality of our product and service. Or if you know that most prospects view the master bedroom as small, so they are concerned about their furniture placement, you might consider having a sample floor plan with furniture already arranged so the prospect can visually see a solution. 